Hi, I'm Ted Leonsis, and this is The Big Question. Michael, we're bigger than U.S. Steel. You know what that's from? No. That's from The Godfather. That's it's Meyer Lansky um, telling The Godfather in waiting that they're in a very, very big business. And that quote was uh, very, very meaningful because it proved to be incorrect. U.S. Steel is no longer a big business, nor is the mafia. For me, greatest sports victory of all time was the United States amateur hockey team in the Olympics beating the menacing uh, Russian national team. Uh, that, that probably was the upset of all time uh, and followed closely for me personally by the New York Jets beating the Baltimore Colts, the American Football League overcoming the National Football League uh, in Super Bowl III. Uh, if I could go back in time, uh, it probably would be, um, I'd like to see what the world would have been like had Lee Harvey Oswald not gotten a job at the Book Depository in Dealey Plaza. Um, I'd like to see how our society would have moved forward. I'm a big um, student of what happened when we placed a man on the moon and how President Kennedy's words motivated our country in both private and public enterprises to put a man on the moon and wanted to do it in a decade. We did it in eight years and that one endeavor is probably the greatest feat that um, our country has ever accomplished and it's a shame that he never lived to see that and wonder, always wondered what other great um, big goals we could have accomplished as a country had he lived. I think the most important book that I've read certainly in the last many years is Factfulness. Um, things are really better than we know and that, um, that the media um, has to report on the dramatic and the fringe and the edge and you know if it, le if it bleeds it leads and that's always been the, um, the way the media can get our attention but we lose fact sight of what the real facts are. I can give you a real live example. Um, about two weeks ago there was a, a very important report that came out talking about the world's safest cities. And uh, Washington, D.C. was um, America's most safe city, both from a cyber and a physical safety um, um, report, and that, that we were the fifth safest city in the world. Uh, and that story was on the very back page of the Metro section. Uh, and on the front page of the metro section and the front page of the news section was that there was a drive-by shooting and a young man was you know, tragically um, uh, severely injured. And I think that's just a, a case where if you read the Washington Post on a daily basis, you would think Washington, D.C. was a unsafe and um, it was a war zone. And uh, there's a case where you have to do your own research, your own work, and to be focused on what are the facts around safety for big cities. And Washington, D.C. has actually become one of the safest places on earth to live and work. I would put a Shinola watch. Um, I think that, um, that we've moved so much into this digital world and that analog things and um, things with craft and things that we make uh, are going to have a big, big comeback. And a watch is uh, an incredibly important uh, timepiece um, and is um, timeless in that there's leather, there's glass, there's mechanical, there's craftsmanship. And all of that was done just to be able to tell time. And now everyone is wearing their, their Apple watches and wearing, using their phones to be able to tell time. But there's something timeless about a watch. And I hope we never lose sight of that we need to make things. And we need to make things here in America. And this artisan and the craft and the love that goes into being a maker, uh, we should never lose sight of that importance.